Hello, in this video, we are going to learn about various generation of computers. Basically, the term generation refers to how hardware and software has evolved over time. Between 1945 to 1956, we had the first generation of computers which used thousands of vacuum tubes. As a result, they consumed a lot of power and generated large amount of heat. They were large in size and very expensive too. Machine language was used to program it using punch cards and paper tapes. They were the fastest calculating device of their times and could do 5000 additions or 350 multiplications in one second. Examples include ENIAC, EDVAC and UNIVAC 1. The second generation of computers came between the years 1956 to 1963 when transistors replaced the vacuum tubes. This made the computer smaller, faster, cheaper and more reliable. They were more energy efficient though they still generated a lot of heat. They were also the first computers to use magnetic core technology to store instructions in memory. They used machine and assembly language to program. Examples include IBM 7090 and CDC 3600. The third generation of computers was between 1964 to 1971 when integrated circuits or ICs replaced the transistors. This made the computer smaller, faster, cheaper than earlier computers. They were accessed through keyboard, monitor and even had an operating system to enable it to run different applications at the same time. They were now made available to larger number of people as they were smaller and cheaper. Examples include IBM 360 and PDP-11. The fourth generation of computers started from year 1971 with the advent of microprocessors which used VLSI or Very Large Scale Integration Technology to have thousands of IC on a single silicon chip. This made the computers small and portable. They were cheap and could work at high speed with a lot more accuracy and reliability. They had larger memory so led to explosion in development of GUI software, application softwares and handheld devices. Examples include all the computers you see around you today. The future is the fifth generation computers which will be based upon artificial intelligence and are still in very nascent stage. They will use ULSI or ultra large scale integration technology making it even more faster, cheaper and self-reliant. Combined with quantum and nanotechnology, the next generation computers are going to be the intelligent computers.